Hi everyone, we're going to find the x values, if any, at which f is not continuous and which of the discontinuities are removable. And what we have is f of x equals absolute value of x plus 2 over x plus 2. Okay, so on the absolute value ones, those are... Um, harder, um, you can't just cross out these two and have a, a removable discontinuity because this numerator part is um, actually a piecewise defined function. So if I write this out, I'm going to write that uh, with x plus 2, or just um, if x plus 2 Let's see, I'm just going to do this. If x is greater than or equal to 0, then we're going to get x plus 2. If x is less than, um, we're not going to use uh, 0, we're using 2. The reason we're using 2 it, or negative 2 is because we have um, right here, it's not continuous at x equals negative 2. So we're going to do this. All right, and then since um, this is absolute value, we're going to go ahead and put the negative in front of this. Now, if you want, just plug in some numbers here, and you'll see where this works out. So you get a graph that looks like this right here. All right, so on this one, we have, um, it has a non-removable discontinuity at x equals negative 2. And there it is. So it has a non-removable discontinuity. <coughs> at x equals negative 2. However, um, the limit does not exist. So because the limit from the right side limit as x approaches 2 from the right does not equal the limit I should have scooted this over a little bit let me just write down here over here so the limit as x approaches 2 from the right that means all of these values in here of my function does not equal the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x. Because the limit as it approaches to the right equals 1, and from the left side it equals negative 1. Or negative 2, sorry. No, 1. Because you have the 1 and negative 1. Okay, the next one is the same thing. This one is um, f of x equals absolute value of x minus 3 over x uh, minus 3. So if I write this as a piecewise defined function, that means we're going to get uh, x minus 3 for x is positive or equal to 0. Not to 0, sorry, I keep putting 0. So we're going to put 3. And negative x minus 3 for x is less than 3. And again, the limits don't exist. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the right left side of f of x does not equal the limit as x approaches 3 from the right side. Because this would be negative 1 and this equals 1. So on this one, it has a non-removable discontinuity at x equals 3. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.